How do I hear the voice of God better? One of the leaders of the Welsh revival was Evan Roberts. And in 1904 and 1905, there was this great move of God in Wales. And Evan Roberts tells the story about going off to school and studying and preparing, but starting to hear a voice that told him to go back to the young people of his local church and do ministry. So he went to the principal and told him that story and said, is that God or is that the enemy? To which the principal responded, the devil never gives orders like that. And I love that story because the response of the principle is that the content of what you're hearing sounds more like God than the enemy. Many of us feel like we can't hear God's voice, but if we knew what was in the word of God, if we had studied and prayed and meditated on the scriptures, then we could recognize what God's voice is like because we hear this this whisper, we sense a burden, and we go, that's what it looks like. In the scriptures, that's what Jesus says. That's what the word of God is like. So how do you grow in listening to the voice of God? Number one, get the word of God inside of you. God has actually already said a lot. And there's much that if we would meditate on it and study it, we would grow confident that we have heard his voice because we've studied the word of God. The second is I'd encourage you to write out your prayers. One of the things in my journey where I where I am confident that I'm growing and hearing God's voice is by in my prayer journal, just writing back what I sense the Lord is saying. And then third, I would encourage you to listen to God through the voice of other people. In some of the most pivotal moments of my life, it's not been what I'm sensing or thinking. I've heard someone else preach or say in a conversation something that I knew. That's, that's what God is saying to me right now. That's the word of the Lord for me. So if you'll become strong in the area of scripture, of even writing out your prayers and writing out what you sense the Holy Spirit is saying to you in your journal and listening for the voice of God as other people speak, you'll resonate and say, that's, that's God's voice. Years ago, I was in the Atlanta airport and I heard a voice that I recognized. And I looked back as I was standing in security to about 50 people in the line. And I didn't see any face that I knew, but I heard a voice that I knew. And suddenly I connected the voice that I knew with a face, but I didn't know the face. So I thought, who is this? What am I recognizing? To which I suddenly realized that's the voice of Timothy Keller. Timothy Keller is a preacher in New York City, and I would listen to his podcast as I would run, and so I'd become so familiar with his voice, even though I'd never seen his face. And so I just allowed people to go in front of me, just one at a time, until finally it was Timothy Keller, to which I turned my back, and I didn't let him pass. I waited a couple minutes, and then I turned and said, hi, are you Timothy Keller? And he said, yes, I am. And we talked the rest of the time through security, and I got to meet Timothy Keller, and I think that for you and for me, hearing God is a little bit like that. We haven't seen his face, but we know his voice. And we become more familiar with it over time. Eventually to where there's a whole lot of other voices out there. But when he speaks, we recognize it. I want to invite you, get the word of God inside of you. In your prayer journal, begin to just write out what you sense the Holy Spirit is saying to you. Listen for the voice of the Holy Spirit as others speak, as you hear messages. And when you've heard the voice of God, you'll have that kind of confidence. This is God speaking to me.